I have finished putting it all in my hair and I can kind of see it changing already, but it says to place a cap on your head and to make sure that the room isn't cold, which is pretty cold in here. And it says to not sit by a vent and the vent is right there and it's on. So I don't know, hopefully um, it processes right. I think I'm gonna put this bonnet on so that it keeps heat right here. Um, and then I'll be back once it has changed or not changed. Hey y'all, so this is what I am left with after the second color. Oops. It's actually very close to the color that I'm going for. I just wanted a little bit more vibrant. Um, my roots, I really think that color oops like bleached my roots um, because my natural hair color is not this color. And I really don't know where this red came from, but it's actually what I was going for. So hopefully I won't have to try too hard. But as you can see, <laughs> my ends in the front are just basically straight i still have curls in the back so i'm gonna deep condition my hair now and then maybe later i will bleach my hair and color it but i don't know i'm kind of scared i don't want straight natural hair because that's not fun what's good guys so I am gonna go ahead and bleach my hair. This is what she's looking like. Um, I don't know if you can see the actual, oh, there we go. So I'm going to be using the Salon Care 30 Volume Developer. And I have a bowl, a brush, and then I'm going to be using the Kaleida Colors. Um, this says on dark hair only. It's the blue. Looks like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. And then I will go ahead and come back and show you guys how I apply it. I keep looking at the viewfinder. Sorry. <laughs> So this is what I am left with after rinsing. I figured that my hair would look exactly like this. Because my hair was black for so long, I knew that my ends would not get to where this is, um, which is fine because I'm going for these tones anyway. So I am just going to put some dye over top of this and let it sit. I'm gonna be using the Kiss, and this is the Temptation. I have Cajun Spice and Paprika, which look like these. I want to use more Cajun Spice than Paprika because I want it to be a bright color, but I do want a little bit of this red in there. Um, so, this says, what tells me to apply this to shampoo towel dried hair, which my hair is, and um, an eighth of an inch away from the scalp. So basically I'm not going to apply it directly onto my scalp just yet. Um, so I'm gonna start with the ends and I'm gonna section off my hair actually. Um, 
and then I'm going to put this on. I am going to put a bag or a plastic cap over my head and sit under like a blow dryer so that it processes a little bit deeper. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm actually going to mix it into the bowl to get the color that I want. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 